Hi guys, so this is going to be a very quick video about my new lipstick, which is the MAC Ariana Grande Viva Glam lipstick. And I have it right here, it arrived today, which I was very very excited about. It cost £15.50, which is the price of their normal lipsticks, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. So on the box it's just got her beautiful red signature, and this lipstick has only just been released in the UK, like I think on Friday, Thursday? Last Thursday or Friday this was released and I obviously ordered it instantly because I love MAC lipsticks and I love Ariana Grande. So this is what it looks like in the actual tube. It's just the classic kind of MAC Viva Glam packaging with the red or pink little kind of band around it and the red or pink MAC logo. And then when you actually open it up it just has her signature on the actual kind of like barrel bit here. Um, and then the actual lipstick just looks normal, it doesn't have any engraving or anything. It's called Viva Glam Ariana Grande and yes, it is a matte finish. The smell of it is just like the standard MAC lipstick smell, which is incredible. Some of the matte lipsticks that I have from MAC smell kind of like, um, the only way I can describe it is kind of woody, but this one smells more like vanilla. -y. So this is basically a really, really dark kind of purpley plum colour and on camera it looks kind of black but it is a very very dark purple so I'm actually just going to swatch it on my hands just to show you the actual kind of colour um, so please ignore this swatch here that was from a Makeup Revolution haul but this is the colour here on my hand um, so it is a very kind of deep berry kind of blackened purple colour I've lost the lid now I would say that this is quite similar to kind of like um, smoked purple. I was looking at getting smoked purple by MAC. I think smoked purple might be a little bit more purple, um, but this definitely reminds me of it. I don't think I'll get that colour now because I only really need like one super dark purple colour in my life, I think, and it is this one. And it's a really, really nice formula actually. It wasn't streaky at all when I applied it. It was really kind of opaque. One thing that I would say is I would recommend using a lip liner because it is very difficult to kind of get it perfect around your lips. Um, so I had to try kind of like a few times and then like clean it up with concealer. Um, because I don't actually have a lip liner that matches this at the moment but I would definitely recommend getting a lip liner to kind of go with this I mean you don't have to get a MAC lip liner, just get like a cheap kind of drugstore one so I'm just going to kind of compare it to some other of the MAC lipsticks that I have and also have a kind of drugstore version um, so I have this shade called Tribalist which is an amplified formula and this is kind of like my darkest MAC lipstick besides the Ariana Grande one but if I just swatch it next to it, I'm not sure if you can tell that this one is more kind of like brown toned and the Ariana one is more kind of purple toned but yeah this one is definitely more brown toned and definitely prefer the more kind of purpley toned one and if I swatch it next to Rebel which is a bright kind of pinky fuchsia purple shade um, you will see the kind of difference in colour so in the tube Rebel looks quite dark but when you actually swatch it on your hand it looks kind of like a berry pinky purple colour so just for reference, this is Rebel, this is Tribalist, and then the one in the middle is MAC Ariana Grande. I also have the MAC Berry Black, Black, Berry Black Friday lipstick, and just comparing that to it, it's kind of like a sheer reversion. So this is like one of those chubby stick type things, and this one is here. So it's a very kind of like sheer version and then comparing to the Ariana Grande one, as you can see it's a very dark colour. And on me, I don't really know how I feel about it, I mean I do like it a lot, I'm not sure I would wear it every day because it is quite like a bold statement because I am so like fair. And then what I just noticed as I was swatching on my hand is it actually looks very similar to this Makeup Revolution lip lacquer. Um, and I got this in the kind of Salvation lip lacquer sets and... Yeah, it's the very similar colours with this, so I don't know if you guys have seen this kind of set of six, I think they still have it on sale on the Makeup Revolution website. The darkest colour of this one is quite similar to the Ariana Grande lipstick colour. I also have MAC Viva Glam 3, and this is one of the kind of darker Viva Glam shades, so I'm just going to compare this as well. So this is what Viva Glam 3 looks like in the tube, and then if you just compare it to the Ariana Grande one, obviously they have the same packaging apart from this one has the signature on it. Um, so this one is a much kind of lighter colour. If you compare them side by side, this is Viva Glam 3, and this is MAC Ariana Grande. 
In terms of the finish, it is described as matte, and I would say that it is matte if you blot it, um, because sometimes when you apply the matte lipsticks, they, they do still look slightly sheer, and this one did, but I literally just got a tissue and blotted it, and then it looks pretty matte to me. Um, I haven't tested out the kind of longevity yet, I haven't worn it throughout the day, but overall I would say the finish is really nice, like it doesn't feel super drying. It still feels like it's moisturising my lips and it didn't pick up on any like dry patches because I had a few dry bits on my lips and yeah, I found that it just kind of glided over there smoothly and it looks fine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this mini kind of review video. If you have any more questions about the lipstick, let me know down below and it is for sale on the MAC website. So if you did find it helpful, please give this a thumbs up. Also, if you guys are new and you aren't subscribed to my channel, it would be amazing if you would subscribe. The button is down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!